Alola friends, Dapper Drivey here, and I know I sound a little tired, but that's because I am. Uh, we're trying to get this in and out quickly. Um, as you can see today, we are doing some one-pack blisters. We have Rock Rough and uh, Execute here, and I didn't realize my light is literally right there. There we go. So we have Rock, Rock, Rock Rough and Execute. These are sweet promos. I really wish they were more competitively viable. Um, honestly, it wouldn't have taken much to make them competitively viable, viable but uh, we'll go over that when we do get to that point. Uh, we also have a mystery card that I bought yesterday that I do want to show off to you guys. And we're going to go off, we're going to go through our pools for the week for the Crimson Invasion. Um, not much here, you know, we got a couple reverse rares, which is pretty cool. Actually, we got three reverse rares, now that I think about it. That doesn't belong, because that's, that's something I bought. Uh, but we got a Houndoom Reverse Rare, Red Ice Reverse Rare, High Ground Reverse Rare, and a Holographic Milotic. I'm pretty sure that's basically everything we got. We, I mean, we got a Miss Magius, but that's regular rare. We got a Registeel, which is a regular rare, and our Camerupt as well. Registeel, yeah. So, you know, three regular rares, and, uh,. Three reverse rares. I don't remember what the other reverse was, but it wasn't anything spectacular. We didn't very, we didn't get a lot of digging doing well in Crimson Invasion. The pull rates are still the same, in case you guys are wondering. Um, so mystery card or pack? I guess let's do two packs, and then the mystery card, and then do uh, the last two packs. So, like I was saying, these things, I wish they were competitively viable. But they are not. They would be. It's so easy because like both of their evolutions are popping in the TCG right now. So it'd be so easy to make them competitively viable promo cards. But uh, they they're not doing that because for some reason they decided that they don't want to or something. I don't know. But you know, Rock Ruff is here literally would not have taken very much to make it viable we have an evil tall coin uh and we have a ton of them now because we bought four of these but you know rock rough was was so close to being competitively viable here uh but just not quite as you can see beautiful artwork i love this artwork um but you know it has bite for 30 damage for dce perfect attack perfect attack on a rock ref but then it has 50 hp <sighs> that's about that's about my, my my feelings towards it is <sighs> like really really like like almost nothing would have had to been done to this card to make it valuable and that is the only thing that would have had to been done is make it 70 hp 70 hp rock ref is all I wanted to be honest it would have been great I mean I know we have one and you know it's cool because it's came out of you know this set actually but uh, this one I am not gonna lie I love the artwork on it a little bit better oh, a couple sleeves I can use those and uh, so I wish I just wish it was a better card uh, but it's not um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the execute. I don't know what exactly this one's attack is either, but you know, again, so close to actually being viable that it's a little frustrating. Another evil call coin. Just throw the trash over there for now. Um, Cybolt. Flip a coin, a pedge, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. A, a good attack on execute. Execute usually kind of something like that. Sleep or something to beat that effect. 50 HP. It's not bad. Um, it's better than a lot of them. I know a lot of them have like 30 HP, 40 HP. You know, this one with more HP would have been better too. But uh, all it really needed was a, a an ability, to be perfectly honest. Like anything. Like the ability to pull another one out or something to that effect uh, and this would have been phenomenal I mean this one actually still might be a little better than some of the ones out there the uh, the thing I think 
you were still going to play the hypnosis one over there because hypnosis is a one energy attachment this is a dce attachment mm, so that's like the only thing that makes it not as viable but i understand what they were going with here you know dce dce so it makes sense but uh the fact that they're both 50 hp is a little rough like not rock rough but just rough um let me go ahead and grab a bell put this one on the other side here behind or in front of my head we'll go with like there um all right so not gonna the uh pack was rock rough greninja was the execute pack so we're just gonna go see what we got inside these things uh green code card sorry guys so you guys go for a forbidden light code go ahead and tell me what you guys get in the uh comment section below two three energy we're gonna guess a uh, water energy. Oh, it's fighting. That was my second guess. Was was it was Rock Ruff's energy because Rock Ruff pack. Um, let me throw this coin out of the way. We have the Gumi, the Gumi, the best Gumi in the game. Sticky membrane. Okay, come on, camera, focus on it. Focus on it, camera. We got Gumi, sticky membrane. A Rock Ruff. Speaking of Rock Ruffs, there's our 70 HP one right there. And you guys can tell me, you know, which artwork do you guys like better? Do you like the frisbee artwork? With a holographic running on the field, or the sad one next to the rock, between a rock and a hard place. Um, I guess the hard place would be that home, because this rock rough looks upset. A uh, gibble, starting things off all fighting, it looks like. Scatterbug with the ultra evolution, multiplying execute. So again, we can compare um, which one you guys like better here. So I mean, I guess that that's kind of cool that you know they have. You can compare like that out of one pack. Nice. Clef key. The metal sound. A Frogadio with Gale Shuriken. Helioisk. A reverse is a Rotom rare. There we go. And our rare is a Dragulgi, which I read that attack uh, last time and I was slightly disappointed by it. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, a really a coin flip or the attack does nothing? That's just, that's just pitiful. It's just pitiful. It's very unfortunate. Um, there you guys go. Another forbidden light code. Uh, there we go. Forbidden light. Tell me what you get inside. Oh, and I guess I didn't actually give out a rock rough or an execute. Considering I have... I'm going to have multiples. I might as well give out one, right? get rid of the trash because I do have a trash can next to me I just never use it well I, I don't film here a lot uh, fairy there's our water uh, another rock roughing surprise it's an attack scrope 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 a lit leo we got the crow again with the sawaga a flop a frubbles that uh, gr greninja <laughs> froakie a Bonnie, so we can attack again with our Zygarde. Magneton, Sligu with the hammer in and absorb. Gumi is a reverse, so let me make sure it's focused. And our rare is Garchomp, and it's a hollow. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me go ahead and grab this sleeve here. So we're getting hits, we're getting hits, but we're not the, not the ones we want, right? Sweet. Garchomp, hollow. Rotom Reverse. Let me show off this beautiful card to you guys here. Um, so I got this yesterday when I was out. And it's a really nice card. So I wanted to show off to you guys. And I think I got it for a good price. But you guys can tell me if I didn't in the comment section below. It is... The beautiful Mew with Lost Link. Uh, I don't know if I overpaid or not. But, uh, I think it's in pretty good condition. And it's, I love Mew, so we're going to say this is a good buy, I think. Such a pretty card. I'm going to put it back in sleep, because I don't want to mess it up. Don't want to mess it up. 
so badly. Uh, so we have the Lost Link Mew. Um, I thought that was a good purchase as a collector. It's kind of hard to purchase it though because I'm trying to step away from collecting as much as uh, as I can so I can get a little bit more competitive with uh, stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just see a collector's item and you're like, I, I need that because it's it's a Mew. <laughs> like, no other reason. It's a, it's a Mew card. I feel like I need it because it's a Mew card. And Mews are awesome. So we get an alternate Cosmic Pack. Here's a, a Rock Ruff for you guys if you guys want it. There we go. Oh, that went super dark because I... Uh, my hand was in front of it. So I'll file the uh, rock ruff away in the redeemed pile. And we'll pull this little rock ruff out. So yeah, I guess I gotta do a test. I gotta do a test to see if this uh, 30 HP attack is better for rock ruff or not. My guess is it's not. It's most likely not. But uh, we can totally test it. Both online and uh, IRL. Probably easier to test online because you're gonna face off against those other attacks. Ooh, Rockrus letting us down. Oh, I'm keeping that one. Sorry, guys. I gave two. I'm keeping the other two. One, two, and an energy. Metal energy. Oh, jeez. Uh, whatever. Uh, I messed up, but I don't care. It's not a metal energy, it's an electric energy. We start things off with the uh, Gibble. That land shark. Clotcher with the water gun. A Noibat is so destructive with that sound. Pancham. He's a professor, right? Esper. Unidentified fossil is our reverse. Goodbite. Sligu. Zygarde. And our rare is an Alolan Marowak. I'm not mad about that. I like Alolan Marowak. And they're not the easiest to pull for some reason. They're like an uncommon rare. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Like I feel like there's there are rares in every set that you just they're super common for you. They're they're in other words your your troll card. And I've gotten a couple of those. I actually got all four pack arts. I don't think I planned that. I think that's just happenstance. Here's an execute for you guys though. If you guys want to try that out online. You can use this Cybolt Execute. Coins, coins, coins. Alright, we're going to get into this Zygarde pack and hopefully my uh, lighting, everything holds out. I'm actually hoping that my light's not making my phone too warm, but it probably is because they are kind of butted up against each other. There we go, a Hone Edge. There, now I don't even know what color the code is. One, two, three, and an energy. We're going to guess a um, dark. Nope, it's psychic. Psychic energy. We're going to start things off with Hone Edge. With the metal sound so you can confuse your opponent. Helioptile in the sandy beaches of the desert. Uh, Bergmite, Mite the Burger. A skidoo, how do you do? A dupe hider, spider web, earth and aura, peacemaker. He makes peace among the ultra beast. Halucha! A Amora, evolving from that unidentified fossil. Reverse is a crash awake, not bad, I like trainers. And our rare is a Dialga GX. There we go, we finally got a hit for the week. It's a duplicate from last week, but that's fine. Awesome. Got Overclock, the Metal Dialga GX, and of course we got all these uh, promos to play around with as well. Uh, this one has to be my favorite because I used to be an Ultimate Frisbee player, so throwing the Pokeball Frisbee and having Rock Ruff run after it is hilarious to me. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, actually, let me throw a sleeve on this. There we go. So you guys know that I do sleep up my stuff. Uh, you know. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.